Breaking news, after days in limbo, a cruise ship with at least 21 coronavirus patients finally docks. With more than 3,500 on board. Middlebury Fitness um, opened in 1997, so we just celebrated our 23rd anniversary in November, actually. So, yeah, a lot, a lot has changed, right? Um, you know, the the physical layout um, in certain areas of the of the of the gym are are different. Um, we've kind of spaced cardio equipment differently. We used to have uh, three rows of cardio. Now we have two. The time that we were asked to join the committee to safely reopen gyms, uh, our gym was closed. We were home. Uh, we had no information about what was happening and when things would change. The ultimate goal is trying to allow people space to, you know, give them space to, to, you know, stay away from one another. We didn't have virtual classes, didn't offer them prior to, prior to this, uh, prior to the pandemic. So, um, so that certainly changed. Uh, that's a pretty significant change for us. But the fact that someone who's at home who may have COPD, who just can't come in, or maybe is in one of the high risk categories, but can still be there, sort of feel like they're with the class, it makes a huge impact to that one person. Um, I think everything that we do that doubles and triples down on safety, people appreciate. And at the same time, it's very big life changes for them. Some people have been coming to this gym for 20 years or 10 years. So to change all of their behaviors, um, even in the midst of a pandemic where it makes sense is still quite a challenge. It's, it's affected us in virtually every way. Uh, we've taken a big hit. Um, you know, we're operating at about 50% revenue levels, which um, isn't sustainable uh, long term. We, you know, we, we, I believe we're going to grow out of this. We're going to we're going to get out of this pandemic, and and we're going to we're going to start to creep back to, you know, maybe not uh, prior revenue levels, but but sustainable revenue levels. And in the end, you know, I'm glad we made the decision we did.